Hello and welcome to the Sunday Slate Breakdown video for Week 11. I'm your host, Matthew Amato, joined here by Jason Gilbo, Jacob Blaine, and Stephanie Oti. Let us move on to that next game. And I warned you guys, it's the Los Angeles Rams against the New Orleans Saints. The Rams, maybe the worst watch in football right now. Not even Cooper Cup to uh, enjoy on this one with him headed to IR. Then we have the Saints. I don't even know. I, I guess Andy Dalton's still the quarterback. Is he really? Is Taysom Hill going to get the football? Maybe that can be some fun in this game. I truly want to just take the under on the amount of fun to be had watching this football match. And Jason, you at least have a play. You have a couple plays in this one, so you can talk first. Yeah, the under. Um, both these offenses are just an absolute shambles. Uh, Matthew Stafford is expected to come back, but without Cooper Cup, how much are we really expecting out of him? Uh, I... I don't think much here. They can't run the ball. Uh, the offensive line on both sides are extremely poor because the Saints are also going to be, looks like missing at least two, but possibly three starting linemen in this spot, which is also why I like uh, Alvin Kamara's under for rushing because he's taken a significant drop in touches overall, but rushing attempts, you know, he's 17 over the last two weeks in games that, you know, the Pittsburgh game was relatively like, close, close throughout. Baltimore was leading throughout, but... It's kind of weird that we've seen his touches drop so significantly over the last two weeks, um, especially after we were kind of riding the receiving wave. But overall, I just don't, I don't know what they're doing. Like they're limiting kind of all their best, their best offensive options, and it's not like they're tanking because they don't have their pick, so it doesn't really matter. But um, it's just a bad spot because we know the Rams' defense can still stop the run. Um, fourth and rush defense DVOA, first and rush defense uh, per PFF, third and tackling. Um, so I don't really expect much out of the Saints here. And then obviously on the Rams side, like you're taking away the only real offensive weapon that did anything all year for this offense. And it's just going to be slow moving. It's going to be really ugly. The offensive line, offensive line play is going to be really bad. Um, with that being said, I'm also, it's unofficial, but I'll be throwing the Rams in a round robin uh, underdog just because plus 150 is decent value for a team that I don't think the Saints are really even that good either. Um, I think Stafford could pull this one out of his ass against Dalton, so it, it's worth a little sprinkle in a, in a parlay. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I think, Jason, you kind of hit the analysis spot on. Um, not a lot of points to be scored. Rams probably... I mean, I think it's one of the best round robin leagues for if you really don't want to think too hard and you just want to be like, yeah, that's a value to put in a round robin. That money line is kind of stupid right now. I mean, it, really betting against this Rams team because the Saints are not are not a good frame or well, they're not a good franchise, but they're also not a good football team. Anyway, Jacob, your turn. Yeah, just to pile on there. Um, Cooper Cup was thirty one percent of the Rams scrimmage yards and forty four percent of their touchdowns. So. An offense that was already one of the worst in the league is about to get a lot worse. Um, yeah, the under is the obvious play. Uh, the Rams are the worst rushing offense in the league, 28% success rate on the ground. Uh, the Andy Dalton offense is just pathetic. Um, and they're going to want to try to run the ball here, like Jason mentioned, but they just can't against this run. This Rams front. Top five in DVOA tackling, success rate, and yards per carry allowed. Um, that's the one thing that the Rams have been really good at is defending the run. So... Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think play the under and move on with your life. Stephanie, anything to add? Yeah, just playing off of what you guys said about um, the Rams and their run defense. So the Saints will probably rely on the pass. I do. There's a receiver that I love on this team. I've been riding his reception overs. I haven't found the number yet. Um and he only missed his reception over once for me, Chris Olave. Um he's had over 5 uh, targets every single game except for one in, in that first game of the year, and he 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 caught all all three passes. The number has gone up significantly, especially with Michael Thomas being out. He stepped up into that spot as a as a solid rookie. Um, so depending on what those receptions are, I'll take it. Five, I'm assuming it'll be five and a half. I'll take it. I'll take over that. Um, I feel more confident in his receptions rather than his uh, passing yards, but I still think it's a good bet. Fifty two and a half here with a team that is, is going to have to rely on the run, just looking at some of his um, receiving yard trends, averaging 20 and 20.6 20 more than what this prop is set at right now. He's recorded 52 and a half receiving yards in six of 10 games this season. And it only has continued to go up since um, more injuries have taken place on the Saints team. So I feel confident in him and in, in both his number of receptions and his receiving yard over 
Um, looking at some of the numbers that this Rams team has allowed in the passing game, the Cardinals over 20, 220 passing yards on the Rams, the Bucks 272, 49ers 257. And I know looking at that Cardinals game, it's kind of odd. Matt Stafford wasn't, wasn't in. Sean McVay's grandfather had passed away. So it's kind of understandable what, where it would have been uh, not as great. But, I mean, the season as a whole hasn't been great. Their offense is horrible, absolutely horrible. They're basically wor- the worst in the NFL in every category I can find. Six- 16.4 points per game, worse than the NFL. 282.7 yards per game, worse than the NFL. 4.6 yards per play, worse than the NFL. This is also the worst record a team has had by a defending champ through nine games ever. So this is not the team that we saw last year. I think you, they kind of sold their soul in, in getting all these guys. They also don't even have their star in Cooper Cub, who's going to be out four games following that ankle surgery. So I like – I'm going to rely on um, Olave. I like both his receptions and receiving yard over. Honestly, the Saints came through for me once this year. None of you guys want to take them. I'll take the Saints plus three at home just just because they came through for me once um, and I just really don't have any faith in the Rams at all. So I will gladly place a bet on a – both of these teams are fluky, but I kind of like the Saints. And home, home dogs are winning uh, largely this year as well, so I'm going to keep writing that. I'll, t- I'll take it. Currently the Saints are favored though, Stephanie. At home though, yeah, and, and it's at home. So – Oh, yeah, yeah, home dogs. But home teams, like, this is kind of a fluky line anyways, though. But, oh, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, um, they're minus three. I, I have it plus three on my on my thing, but I'll take them um, money. Or, yeah, I'll take them minus three still. So, I will say. I did have it written down Rams, as plus three, though. The Rams are that bad on offense, and the Denver Broncos exist. Which is kind of scary to think about for Rams fans. No offense, Jacob. Sorry. Yeah, those that those are two teams that Jacob likes to root for too. That's brutal. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I hate offensive football guys. I, I hate the offenses. <laughs> My favorite part is as Stephanie was talking about Chris Olave kind of taking over for Michael Thomas. I was like, Mike Thomas, you're talking about the Southern Miss wide receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals because Michael Thomas is so relevant at this point. I don't like. I, I forgot he existed. Seriously. He's, he's right. been good in so, develop, helping develop a lot of it, though, I would say. Like, he's definitely kind of taking him an underswing. You know, Buckeye receivers, they, they're looking out for each of other. Of course. Uh, Ohio State connection. So we got Jason, Jacob, and myself under 39 full unit. Jason, Alva Kamara under 64 and a half rushing yards full unit. And then Stephanie on the Saints minus three. Let us move on to the next one. That's going to wrap things up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked this video, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets. Hit the subscribe button to see more content like this. And we'll see you for the next one very soon.